I definitely like to play with the ways in which human beings attempt to play God that definitely narratively plays a role in, in my work. Uh, my name is Ruth Marsh. I'm a visual artist based out of Halifax, Nova Scotia. So bees have definitely been a lifelong obsession. I think that bees are a really good um, entry point for people wanting to talk about environmental issues. I think they're um, very accessible. So uh, basically imagine a bee, um, but imagine a bee that has been cybernetically altered. So um, any missing parts have been replaced with um, small resistors and computer parts and copper wire. I decided to create this kind of intermediary in the form of a well-meaning but very naive pseudoscientists and was attempting to, to solve this bee disappearance problem themselves as an individual by repairing the bees uh, one at a time and ultimately coming to the conclusion that it might not be possible to solve uh, the problem of bee disappearance and so uh, the narrative shifts from repairing the bees in a well-meaning manner to repairing and preserving the bees to basically create a museum for the future where there are no more bees. I, I got this idea that I, I could have a project that happened through the mail um, where people would mail me um, dead bees that they found and then I would receive those bees as data basically and then make art in response to receiving the bee. And then it occurred to me to, to have uh, people fill out questionnaires about the bees that they found. In the same way that, um, that I use repairing bees one at a time to overcome um, maybe a, a feeling of being overwhelmed by the size of the environmental crisis, or um, I, I kind of use this impossible exercise as a way to stave off hopelessness about what's happening with the environment. And so it's hopefully possible that um, people become involved um, to just to contribute in some small way. Yeah, my intentions and, and the ultimate result of creating these things is to show people a future that hopefully they don't necessarily want um, and, and hopefully motivate people to, to shift uh, their perspective or their actions in some way to help prevent that.